Hi guys, um, just thought I would do my intro a few days before um, I'm actually fishing the competition on Saturday. Um, so the channel is getting a sponsor of a company called Ari Rigs and Baits. Uh, this is one of the bait packs he does for like a day's fishing. So you get like, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, five cord sticks, bluey, four bits of mussel, two cuttlefish and five wings for 13 pound. Um, also, uh, obviously, your cart wings, vacuum packs of 10. Also, uh, I would imagine he does orders of any amount that you want. He's got squid in stock, bluey, uh, cuttlefish, everything like that. So, um, yeah, give the, give the band's page a, a look at. Um, I'll leave the link in, in the description for his Facebook page and his Instagram page. But it's uh, Ali Riggs and Bates. Um, he's a top lad, top lad. So uh, I give him a, um, give him a look, get some orders in. Cheers, guys. Hi guys. Uh, just a quick one. Just of uh, obviously I'd I'd said that I would show you rigs and stuff like that. Um, obviously I'm fishing that Memorial Teams match tomorrow. Um, so I'm just showing you the rig that I'm going to be using. Really, it, this is what I would use on like mix. Wait, wait, not Mexico, rough ground, really. Um, so yeah, this is it. So it's just a three-way swivel, hook length, sixty pound. Uh, sinker length is seventy. Comes down to a sinker clip with me four. Uh, sea glow wide mouth on and then just my top circle hook I don't normally have them tied up like like that to be fair I've just put it like that just to show you the video um, there will be a rotten bottom clicked over under this with some 20 pound line tied onto the lead and that and obviously my lead will just be connected to the, the weak link um so yeah that's pretty much it three ways swivel hooks sinker rotten bottom to go on but yeah i don't know it's not really very clear that to be fair i think well, that's a bit better so yeah and obviously i'm going to try and record as much as i can tomorrow for this match but at the minute the wind's absolutely howling outside got uh, strong south westerlies at the minute it is meant to drop off during the night um so uh, yeah i'll uh see how we get on uh and i'll let you know give us updated post the video once i'm done so yeah if you can like, like subscribe and share the video please on different forums or to your friends or whatever uh, would be massive um, help as I said in the last video I would like to try and get 100 subscribers before Christmas and at the minute I'm sitting at 95 um, so I'm only 5 off that so yeah obviously there's still over a month to go so you never know I might get up, get about 150 maybe which would be great but yeah thanks for watching so there you go there you go just like that uh, bottom hook and me, me panel hook. So the hooks I'm using for me rigs are, I've got the Sea Glow Cato Big Mouth fours, box of thirties of them. Um, really good hooks. Uh, and me top hooks. I normally use the Ultra Pack, uh, the Sea Glow um, Chinoos, um, but at the time I just didn't have the money to buy them so I bought some of these lip grip circle hooks um, which if I'm going to box open aren't too bad these are just a, a tool um, slightly off off center bending them um, and they seem to work really well as well uh, the sea glow ones 
I've used a lot of different hooks over the years, but uh, I started using these in the summer, like I think I've said in a previous video, and oh, they're a hell of a hook. So that's the full uh, I wouldn't say they're a short shank. They're a shortish shank. Oh, I'll just stab my finger there. Right there, that's them there, obviously. Yeah, they've got a lovely, lovely spade like on the on the end very flat cut nice little barb on there and uh yeah so there me we go to hooks at the minute and i think i'll to be fair i think i'll be using them all the time because they're a fantastic hook um so yeah cheers morning guys welcome to the channel um as i said at the beginning of the video I'm out fishing the deer, uh, top clubs match in Northumberland for, uh, it's a memorial match. Um, so uh, the club I fish for is the new ship, or NSS here, uh, new ship Sea Anglin. Um, so yeah, just uh, just set up, got about 20 minutes or so before the competition starts. Uh, fishing 9 till 1. Um, this is the area I'm fishing. So, uh, we'll give it a go. I fished off here the winter and the past, and I've had my biggest fish off here actually, 9 pound 7. So, it's uh, hopefully there's a few fish kicking around this morning. Hopefully, they're playing ball. So, yeah, um, going through that rig that I made yesterday, or uh, obviously now, all clipped down, ready to go. So yeah, um, hopefully the fish enjoy it. Bloody dripping all over and the water are already like, but never mind. Hopefully there'll be plenty of bait on there for when I chuck out in 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated throughout the competition and hopefully get a little bit, um, a little bit of the weigh-in. I'm not going to record the whole weigh-in because it'll probably go on for a, a long time. So uh, there'll be a lot of editing to do, and obviously I do everything on my phone. You see, so. Uh, um, but yeah, keep you updated. I'll let you know once I've chucked in and if we're getting any bites, I'll try and show you some bites on the rod, etc. But we'll see. There might be an out here. But we'll give it a go anyway. Wait, that's the first truck out in the water there. See if how it happens. Second bait, uh, ready to go. A few lug cart and a bit squid. So I there's uh there's about four lads to the left of us now. Uh there's a lad from the South Beach Club. Um he's just next to us to the left. So I uh hopefully hopefully there's a few fish kicking around. Soon find out I suppose. But uh it's not a bad morning to be fair there's obviously a little bit sea on because uh, that's southerly. The wind dropped during the night from a southwesterly, which is, we've had for a few days now, which has been blowing a gale. Um, and it's changed to southerly during the night, about 11 mile an hour. So I, uh, there's a little in the water, not a great deal. It looks like now on the phone, like, but there is. Um, so I, hopefully there's a few, few fish kicking around. Right, I'll bring you back, lads, if I get out. Third chuck in the water there. Um, now the tail's happening. Not even a bite. I thought if there wasn't any any coddling here, there might be the odd coolie, but it's fucking out. Oh, I'm not getting a few little taps there. See if oh, that's turned into some two minutes. So it's low. As soon as I picked the rod up, it stopped. Um, they weren't very big big bites there, they were just little little constant bites there but uh, it's probably a lobster now I look like but I uh, I'll keep this updated um, I just want to say a massive thank you to um, Mark from Alright Rigs and Baits who's obviously he's sponsored on the channel now and obviously supplied all my baits for us for today for the competition so uh, 
big shout out to him. As I said at the beginning of the video, I'll put all the links to his pages um, in the descriptions and give the last pages a look. He does lots of different baits, really good prices. Um, I brought that angling pack out that he, I, he gave us the deer, um, plus some of the, obviously some of the wings that he gave us as well. Um, for the price of the angler's pack, it's £13. Um, he also does a bigger pack again for 20 quid. Um, which you can't really get wrong, so uh, 13 quid for a day's fishing, it's it's very canny. Oh, two seconds, I've just went slack. Where well, I've moved marks, uh, I'm in the same area as what I was, like just moved further down. Uh, chuck it into the heavy stuff, see if I can get anything out of the heavy stuff. Um, aye, it's pretty hard going to be fair, like. So, uh, this is where I'm fishing now. There's people over there. So, um, uh, obviously, I, I was over over here before. So, I'm looking for a long route. Uh, aye, that would happen so far, like. Good. Keep us updated, hopefully I get a fish, just... Just a in would be nice, so... Um, but aye, uh, it's pretty hard going the daylight. It always is during daylight hours, I suppose. I prefer it on a night time. But... It is what it is. I'll keep you updated and uh, let you know if I get a fish or all like that. A bit more pull over here, like. I'm gonna. I was there right where I was before, so I didn't put any rock bottoms on. Um, but I think I might need to put a rock bottom on here for where I am now, like. Just if I do get into a fish, I don't want to lose it because my lead gets hung up, like, but. We'll soon find out and I'll let you know. See you in a bit. Well, you guys, I'm going to chuck off the front this time. Um, I lost my rig on my last chuck and I knew I would with not, ha not having a rotten bottom on. Um, I put a rotten bottom on this one, so hopefully I'll get my uh, trace back. I'm not bothered if I lose my lead, I've got plenty of leads. So, uh, but, uh, it's just one of them days, I think. I think it's going to be hard all hour to be fair, but hopefully the lads will pull a few in the competition, hopefully a few war, war lads get a few, but so far, no good for me, but I can only keep trying. Um, there's loads of colour in the water. Um, so I will keep going. I mean, as you see, I'm really the water, but it's, uh, yeah, well, the can looks clear there, but it's, it's got loads of colour in. So, uh, keep plodding on, keep trying. I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated. Let us know if I get out, but like I say, so far, now I got a bit of a slack line earlier on, um, when I had them few, them few taps. Slack liners, but then uh, now um, I think it was a lobster to be fair because my lead got was pulled into a hole or into a snag. I got a doot like, but I don't think it was a fish. But uh, aye, I'll keep you sort of dead, season a bit. Well, that's I don't know, chuck five or six in the water now. Um, aye. It's hard going, like, um, I brought my last truck in and lost me, me lid and my hook, so I've put some new hooks on, clicked me with that rig on that I had baited up ready to go and go to try. I've got a half a cart wing on and some bluey, um, try a bit of a fish bait. See if, it, see if it pulls anything out, but 
As of yet, it's pretty hard going. I've been on the phone to one of the lads who's probably, I don't know, half a mile away from me here. Um, he's dead now either. So I might have this chuck and then maybe he's moved further up to me left. Um, but like I say, as of yet, there's an out. I've got one, two, three, four, five lads to me left and I haven't seen the pull of fishing yet, so um, aye, pretty hard going. So uh, I'll keep plodding on for years and hopefully one comes along. To be honest, I don't know how I don't know how there isn't anything to be fair because uh, the sea's lovely out there. So there's no happening on that, on that end. Nice and still, <laughs> not the way I want it like, but unfortunately I've just got to take the good with the bad. I had a good night sir. Um, well, unfortunately I didn't record it and it seems to be every time I didn't record a video I catch fish. Uh, I had three out, uh, the biggest was £2.9. So uh, I was tempted to go back there the day but never really fished it in daylight. The last time I fished it in daylight was, I got one out for three pounds, but uh, it was like 45 minutes before it went dark, so I was tempted to go back there the other day, but I thought I would try this mark, because uh, I thought there might have been a few fish kicking around, but now so far. Right, I'll come back to you in a bit. See you in a bit. Well, I've moved again. Um, I'm absolutely sweating off after walking all the way over here. Like, um, it's the same area I knew back that I'm at, like, but just thought I'll try a different mark. So I'm obviously I'm closer over to the power station now. But uh, as of yet, still, what, what can you do? Keep floating on, keep trying. Hopefully there's a fish comes on the flood or something. Right, see you in a bit guys. Way, that was, that's me next casting off this new mark. And uh aye, oh, it's uh it's paid off I would say. Here's the first one of the day. He's a nice little fat one I get a hard one. Yeah we can. So uh, one, hopefully a few more kicking around, or a bit, bit bigger, but he's nice and full, like a nice little fat one, so uh, champion, whoop whoop. Very right, next chuck in the water, hopefully with this flood coming on, um, might chuck out a few more fish, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, got about 45 minutes left of the comp. So uh, at least I've got one to weigh in, that's the main thing. Yes. Yay! Buzzing. Normally I'd do crap during the day, normally I'd have them catch out, so uh, even just to get one, even though it's small, it's probably only with a pound and a half of that. But uh, buzzing. Um, I lads, so I think I, I now I'll probably bang on about it, but if you can like, subscribe to the channel, it'll be amazing. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks very much, and I'll keep you up to date. Well, that's second last truck in the water now. Give it another 5-10 minutes and then get it out and have me last truck in. Um, one of the club lads as well as Michael knew, he's just moved further along the waters. Um, so I hate spitting up his last truck. And then that'll be well, done. Hopefully get another fish or two, but it's not looking very promising, like, but we'll try. See you in a bit. Cheers.